Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 27 box Grand Slam baseball mixer. And we're giving a Tom Brady autograph baseball away. We'll give you a live look at that at the end of the break. But a lot of great stuff here. Um, also, a lot of your orders, almost all of your orders, if you bought a spot straight up, is gonna say 26 boxes. We noticed that that tier one box that's right there, just above the, just next to the Brady ball, was not on the original list. But we did pull it, so I guess we were, we were going by the picture there. Or that picture was taken, so that's why I was in the container. Anyway, there it is. Tier 1 baseball pictured, but not on the original list of boxes, so there's a total of 27 boxes. So if you bought into it thinking that, boy, 26 boxes, what a deal! Well, that's even a better deal because there's an extra box thrown in, and we'll do a wax party randomizer at the end. We'll do two different dice roll, or two different lists. One dice roll, two lists. First main list will be name on top wax party, and then the second list will be the Brady Ball. All right, so big thanks to everybody here who bought their spot straight up. I appreciate it. And we only do one filler, so congrats again on people uh, to the people who won spots. All 30 baseball teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Snake eyes two times. One and two. And then snake eyes for the teams. One and two. Got Rangers down to Orioles. All right, so here's how it shakes out. TJ, you got the Rangers, Tim with the Braves, Carl with the Blue Jays, Cody with the Giants, Jimmy with the Phillies, Bennett with the Cardinals, Scott with the Twins, Dusty with the Brew Crew. Lonnie with the Rays, Richard with the Marlins, Jesse with the Mariners, Carl with the A's and my Dodgers, Joe P with his Diamondbacks, Patrick with the Cubs, Chad with the Mets, Dusty with the Yankees and Reds, Barry with the Guardians, uh, Barry Roberts with the Guardians, Barry David with the Royals, couple Barrys here, Tim with the Nets, Michael with the Astros, Josh with the Rockies, Justin with the White Sox, Jeremy with the Tigers, Kenneth with the Angels, Philip with the Padres, Anthony with the Red Sox, Steve with the Pirates, Carl with the Baltimore Orioles. Let's sort by column B, by team. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, uh, and then we'll have the break. And while the trade window's open, I'll be setting up the, the boxes on this table here. So we'll be right back, stick around. All right, welcome back everybody. There was a deal done between Barry Roberts and TJ. So TJ's out of the Rangers spot and into the Cleveland Guardians spot. We'll put a, put a T next to there for trade. And Barry, you're now out of the Guardian spot and into the Rangers spot. All right, now with the trade window closed, we can print and rip. All right, so we got a lot of boxes to work through here, so good luck, everybody. Um, oh, and here's the Tom Brady baseball right here. We're gonna re-randomize everybody's names on there, and the name on top, we'll get the Brady ball. We'll do the reveal of that at the, uh, at the end when we give it away. So big thanks to everybody who ended up getting into this mixer. If you thought this was a good deal at 26 boxes, there's actually 27 boxes, so it worked out pretty nicely, I think, for everybody. So there you go. Final printout, hot off the presses. Let's keep this next to me over here. So we're going to go work through the base heavy stuff first, right? and then we'll work our way towards the back where we'll have like the, the sort of one-pack stuff towards the end. So let's see if we can get this kind of bulky and older box out of the way first. 2011 Bowman Platinum. Look for autographed cards of Bryce Harper. Good luck. And we got Freddie Freeman on the cover as well. All right, so this break is going to be a minute or two. A lot of minutes or two, so 
kick back, relax, keep us on one screen, keep the basketball game on the other screen, or a baseball game if you have that going on. We got the, uh, I think, I'm assuming, actually was not keeping, I was not keeping track of the, what happened in that Bulls Bucks game? I think they took care of business. Yeah, it ended up being a pretty low-scoring game. Uh, Bucks beat the Bulls 93 to 86 after they got off to a pretty hot start. Miami beat the Hawks earlier today 115 to 91, and Phoenix is up 39-21 in the second quarter, middle of the second quarter. Should be a pretty should be a pretty comfortable series for the Suns. In baseball, the Tigers Royals game was postponed. Padres edged out the Braves 2-1 in San Diego. Mariners beat the Astros 7-2. Dodgers beat the Reds 9-1. Cubs beat the Rockies in Colorado 6-4. Angels in Texas beat the Rangers 8-3. Brewers edge out the Cardinals in Milwaukee 6-5. In Chicago, Rays beat the White Sox 9-3. In Miami, Marlins beat the Phillies 11-3. In Cleveland, Giants beat the Guardians 8-1. In, in New York, Mets shut out the Diamondbacks 5-0. Blue Jays edged out the A's 4-3 in Toronto. In Boston, Red Sox beat the Twins 8-1. Nationals uh, fell to the Pirates in Pittsburgh. Pirates won 5-3. And uh, the Orioles, I actually saw this game earlier today. Orioles scored five runs in the bottom of the eighth against the Yankees to win 5-0. All five runs in the eighth for the O's, so good game for them. All right, now let's see what we got here. There's Ray's edition of Longo. And that's Astro's version of Hunter Pence. And there's Caleb Cowart to $5.99 for the Angels. Just in the interest of time, we're going to set those aside. We're going to have our shipping team sleeve and top load those. There's, and there's Travis Darnot. Blue Jays edition. Oh, did I did I fly past a Freddie Freeman rookie? I wasn't even paying attention to that. Obviously, all what what cards ship in? I'm assuming vet commons don't ship in this. Yeah, no vet commons will ship, but of course, all rookies will ship. Oh, I didn't pass one. Oh, you saw when I was stacking. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. It's Brandon Belt, Brandon Short. Oh, Redemption. I don't know where this goes. You're due to receive an autographed prospects refractor. So this will be randomized. It's uh, it's expired anyway, but I'll randomize it to somebody. There's an out of 599 Schaefer Hall for the Yankees. There's the Freddie Freeman rookie that TJ spotted. Sharp, good eye. Tim with the Braves gets the Freddie Freeman rookie card. 
I don't know what those are going for on the uh, secondary market, but there you have it. R.I.P. Tyler Skaggs. And then we got a jersey and autograph for the Braves. 42 out of 99, uh, Christian Martinez. Tim with the Braves. It's a Chris Sale rookie. What's what's his stock like? Um, that's White Sox edition that's going to go to Justin. And we've got a Jordan Swaggerty. Cardinals auto going to Bennett. Isn't there a, isn't there a Travis Swaggerty out there? Am I just making that up? I feel like Pirates prospect? I wonder if they're related. Davis, Dan Heron. All right, that's our first box. Here's 2021 Tops Update Series. It's like a jumbo box. And that's one autograph and two relic cards in each jumbo box. Box toppers. All right. Ooh, Suzuki hit his fourth home run today. CJ Crone has five. MLB stats right now. Yeah, CJ Crone is tied for the major league lead in homers with Vlad Guerrero Jr. They both have five. Albies, Arenado, Marcel Azuna, Seiya Suzuki all have four. Pete Alonso, Brandon Belt, Byron Buxton, Tommy Edmond. There are a number of people Mitch Hanniger, Lindor, Brandon Lau, Oscar Mercado, Otani, Profar. A lot of people have three. But yeah, CJ Krohn. Five home runs, 10 RBIs. Is he the best player in baseball right now? After 37 at-bats, he's tied with Vlad Guerrero Jr. with five home runs and 10 RBIs. They both have the, almost the same amount of strikeouts. CJ Krohn has one less than Vlad Jr., but Vlad Jr. has one more walk. They both have 11 hits. They both have a double each. CJ Crone has a triple. Wow. So right now, CJ CJ Crone might be the best hitter in baseball right now. Although Wander has 16 hits already, but zero home runs, only five RBIs. A lot of hits for for Wander. He's hitting 381. Matt Olson's hitting 421. He's got 16 hits too. All right, update series. Let's look for those hits. So obviously, all these rookie cards will ship. Right, that's an insert and number, so that'll ship. That's to 70. 
That'll ship because that's an insert as well. That's going to ship because that's a rookie and an insert. I think you know the drill by now. That'll ship because that's an insert. So will that. Yeah, Rockies did start the season pretty well. They're 6-3 and three to start the season. Out of 2021, that is Sam Huff, rookie debut. 554 out of 2021. That'll be for the Rangers. That's Barry Roberts and the Rangers. Die cut for the O's. Yeah, they keep track of walks, Rex. Uh, Juan Soto leads the league with 12 bases on balls, 12 walks. Matt Olson has 11. Jesse Winker has 10. Um, a few people have 9. Seiya Suzuki has 9. So he's tied with G-Man Choi, Eduardo Escobar, Francisco Lindor. Josh Bell has 8 walks. And I think that might be a variation, which is why it's flipped around like that. Taylor Trammell. That's for the M's. That's going to go to Jesse and the Mariners. I think there's like Kalanick rookie cards here and whatnot. So those are something to, to look at. You get all the stuff in the mail. Yeah, Juan Soto... Definitely has to knock out uh, an MVP at some point, right? I wonder if, if I wonder if he may get if he may get dinged a little bit because uh, you know because I don't know if Washington is going to be super competitive. So that may cost him some votes, but but hey, with the expanded playoffs. Imagine if uh, imagine if he leads that team to the playoffs. I mean that that'll help his case greatly. We were actually we were actually talking about that a little bit, Mike. When like some of the, especially some of the rookies, that maybe weren't expected to be called up right away or something like that, like those update guys. I think what 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 we were looking this up, Rex, the other night. I don't think we'll I don't think we'll see them until like, at least for a number of months. There's Alec Manoa, two forty six out of four ninety nine. Rookie card right there for the Blue Jays. Carl with the Bluebirds. He had a nice debut. And maybe a start today? What did he do today? Yeah, 
Yeah, Manoa took the win today. That's his second win of the season. Went six innings, two earned runs, two walks, six strikeouts. And here's Mike Trout. He's okay. He was hit by a pitch today. Right on the hand. X-rays negative, but he's day-to-day. -day. That's a piece of his uh, his jersey right there. It looks like some infield dirt there, which is pretty cool. Kenneth with the Angels. Yeah, were we saying Topps Chrome? When was that? Like July? There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. All-star game relic. That is for Tim and the ATL. And it does say game used, right, for that trout. So it's got to be some infield dirt. It's a facsimile autograph. We got a Kyle Isbell, 2005 out of 2021. Nice bunt there. That's for the Royals. That'll be for Barry David. We got a Barry Roberts and a Barry David. This is for BD. Next box. The auto was... There was no auto. No, there should be a proper auto. I think we got shorted an auto. The facsimile autograph wouldn't count. I think we may have gotten shorter than auto. Could have been a small auto if, if someone else had noticed it. Let me know. I'll look. I'll look through these again. No, the box toppers won't count towards the auto that's supposed to be in here. Through, through those again a little bit later, but no, it says and. It says one autograph and two relic cards. I don't think, oh yeah, but the box hoppers wouldn't count towards that autograph count though, but 
Maybe we will get an autograph in here. We got those tech cards. All right, onwards. I think this break is going to take much longer than the two hours that I said it was. I think it's going to be three hours, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the Ray Corbin box topper, and here's 2022 Heritage. Sorry. Yeah, that mystery redemption. Let's look at some early uh, pitching stats. interesting pitching wise Carlos Rodon in just two starts already has 21 strikeouts 12 innings 21 strikeouts Dylan Cease 10 innings 16 strikeouts look at this Tyler uh, Andrew Heaney of all people for the Dodgers 10.1 innings 16 strikeouts You think you have some CJ Crone tops rookies? Wondering if you if she dust those off? Maybe. Probably before he turns into CJ Crone. Pitchers. Even a smaller sample size than, than hitters, I want to say. A lot, of, a lot of starting pitchers have only made two starts, I want to say. Right, I don't think anybody's on his third start. A few people are. Patrick Corbin, Hugh Darvish, and Tyler Maley are on their third starts. Everyone else has two. Michael saying these packs look like they should have a stick of gum in them. They used to. Yeah, those packs got, got like a waxy, gummy sort of look in here. What am I looking for in here? A real one autograph or relic card. That one says or. And it's a relic. Clubhouse Collection, Jose Barrios. It's Carl with the Blue Jays. We'll have to do randomizers for this at the at the end.
Must be a variation. Jaron Duran. That'll be for Anthony and the Red Sox. Yeah, Mike's missing the uh, the multiplayer rookie cards. Yeah, they don't do those as often anymore, right? All right, 2021. Topps Baseball Japan Edition. We're looking for autograph cards, not guaranteed. We're looking for them. Looking at, uh, so now we're, I don't know if we quite have a full sample size. It's really still too early. We're only, most teams are only like 10, 9, 10 games in. But since we've got a long break, we, we might as well look at the standings here. Toronto topping the AL East with a 6-4 and four record. Boston's 5-4. and four. Yankees and Rays are 5-5. Five and five. And the Orioles, they won today, but they've improved to three and six. The White Sox are six and three in the AL Central. Cleveland has dropped three in a row. They're four and five. Detroit, four and five. Kansas City, three and five. And Minnesota, three and six. In the AL West, the Angels are top the West on a three-game winning streak. Um, six, four. Astros are five and four, A's are five and five, Mariners are five and five, and the Rangers are two and seven. Yeah, everyone seems really close, Rex is saying it, but we've only played nine, nine, ten games. I don't think we're really not gonna start to see separation probably until end of April, another couple of weeks, maybe. Probably middle of May, end of May. TJ saying this stuff is hot right now. The cherry blossom cards are going for a decent amount. I'm assuming those will jump out right at me when I see them. For the most part, I think the checklist is the same. They just pop a Japanese flag there. And then you get maybe some different inserts, maybe some different parallels. But I think for the most part, the checklist is pretty much the same. There's those cherry blossom cards right here. I got Casey Mize on my uh, fantasy team. And uh, pretty bummed that he's on the IL right now. 51 out of 99. Hopefully nothing too too serious. I was ho hoping for a big season for him. Got another. There's a uh, Trey Mancini, 85 out of 99, Cherry Blossom Border. Got Garrett Cole Green, 10 out of 75. Anyone watch the uh, the Apple TV broadcast of that Reds Dodgers game? It's a little rough. There's Sixto Sanchez, 23 out of 50. Mm -hmm. 
There's uh, Orlando Arcia, two out of 25. All right. Um, and now, same thing with the Japan edition. They did the same thing, UK edition. So these will have uh, the Union Jack on these cards. Look for autograph cards, so nothing, nothing guaranteed, but we're just looking for them. Um, I know the answer, but I'll ask anyway. Any idea when Fewer Phoenix are going on here to site? What day does that come out? Generally speaking, it'll be a day or two before any new. If it's Wednesday, then probably Monday or Tuesday. If it's Friday, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday. So yeah, Monday or Tuesday. Chad, I'm sure it'll most likely be at the, it'll load up at the most inconvenient time for you. I'm sure that's what'll happen. Are quite difficult, quite stiff, like like the English and their stiff upper lips. Right, yeah, you just have to check the site all day, every day. Just hammer that refresh button until Phoenix appears. Yeah, remember, I don't... Nick never tells me when he's loading up stuff. Because Nick's working, at, working on these has, we all have weird hours because we work at night and stuff like that. So sometimes he'll do it early in the morning. Sometimes it'll be in the middle of the night, our time. Chad, like three in the morning, West Coast time. Who knows? All right, let's go. Tony Gonsolin. What if I did all this in a British accent? It'd get annoying pretty quickly. The Cat Man. Tony Gonsolin likes cats. Wait, is this? No. So as you can see, all of these have the Union Jack on there, the Great Britain flag on there. And then the inserts are Buckingham Palace. I guess we'll have to do something with the randomizer there. What year is this? This is 2020, okay. Is not, I've not seen Spencer yet. Anyone see Spencer? That's a Gavin Lux rookie card for the Dodgers, Carl. And this is a Luis Robert rookie card for the White Sox. That's going to go to Justin. Gavin Lux, still early in the season, but still starting off well. There are 65 out of 75, Jonathan Daza. 
for the Rockies. That'll be for Josh. There's Trey Mantine, 95 out of 99. You can kind of see the, the Union Jack border right there. That'll be Carl and the O's. My tower remembers a show with Robert Ulrich called Spencer for Hire. I don't I don't remember that one. Shakespeare. TJ remembers that show? I don't. Max Muncie for the Dodgers. 99 out of 99. Late 80s, early 90s. Comic Collectible says, remembers it as it being pretty mediocre. This guy. Oh, the Thames Tunnel. That's what he made. Twenty sixteen Donner's Optic Baseball. Could be some hot boxes in here. Kind of collectible saying, of course, everything on TV was mediocre back then. Not if you're wearing rose colored lenses. Kind of collectible. Not if you're wearing those. Shows from the past that I'd like to see get re reboot. None. Zero. Let's get some original content out there. After I watched the Apple TV broadcast of the of the Reds Dodgers game on Jackie Robinson Day, which was which was a little rough. I discovered a show called Small Horses with Gary Oldman. Sort of an anti, it's, it's sort of an anti-James Bond uh, show. Featuring a cast of, uh, of MI5 outcasts. It's pretty good, if you're into that sort of thing. A twist on the on the British spy drama. I should have been talking about that while I was opening up that UK box. That would have made a little more sense. The Apple TV broadcast. It was Stephen Nelson was doing play by play. Katie Nolan and Hunter Pence were uh, were putting color on the game. Uh, I don't know much about Hunter Pence as a broadcaster, but. Katie Nolan has done some really good stuff, and I like Steven Nelson on MLB Network, but just all of them together just didn't seem to work out. Three out of five. Luis Severino, rated rookie autograph. Nice. This is 2016, Philip. 
Going back in time. This goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Dusty and the Bronx Bombers. And out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Boop, boop. But I don't know, maybe, maybe they just need some more seasoning. The internet was crushing them though. 11 out of 50, Steven Matz for the Mets. Out of 299, rated rookie Stephen Piscotti. And we got a Back to the Future insert? Auto? Autograph. Back to the Future autograph. License plate. All right. There's Mark Grace. Cubs. That'll be for Patrick K. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits. 100% of the time. So they say. It's Corey Seager rated rookie. You see the Angels walk Corey Seager with bases loaded? This penny sleeve has a little wrinkle in it. I don't think it really worked out. Uh, there is Carl with the Dutch. Yeah, it was pretty spot on, right, Rex? Thanks. Yeah, Rex thought the movie was on for a moment. Oh, I, hope we don't, I hope we don't get a copyright strike on this video. Rex, that'd be <laughs> terrible. And there's Brandon Drury, who's on, who's on the Dodgers now. This is Diamondbacks edition going to Joe. All right, 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball. Did you, Rex, did you like how I made Mark Grace look like the license plate at the back of the DeLorean? That kind of content you don't get anywhere. Any stories about Mark Grace? I do have a story about Mark Grace. He probably widely considered to be one of the best conversational first basemen uh, in baseball history. Probably next to guys like Joey Votto and Freddie Freeman, but Mark Grace is up there. I think later on, I think Mark Grace maybe, maybe struggled with, with alcohol a little bit. But yeah, generally known as one of the one of the nicest guys on first base. I remember a story where Mark Grace would uh, would often uh, would often draw a a, a tic tac toe square in the dirt, maybe behind the first base bag for the other first baseman to play. That may be an unconfirmed story, but I feel like I read or heard that somewhere. Or maybe he wrote notes or something like that. I forget. Something like that. through most of our base heavyish stuff so we should be speeding up just a little bit i've got a diamondbacks auto that's zach gallon top chrome baseball rookie autograph for joe p and his diamondbacks ten out of two fifty
There's Otani, and behind him is another Cub, Robel Garcia. Rookie auto for Patrick and the Cubbies. Dustin May should be back in the middle of the season, hopefully. There's a Rafael Devers blue wave to 75 for Anthony and the Red Sox. All right, let's get into some Allen and Ginter. What, is this a retail version of Alan Ginter? What's the deal with this? This is Alan Ginter X? Rex never heard of Mark Grace. Koi face emoji. The one time we want you to tell Cub stories, Rex. Hey, you're not going to tell any, tell any, tell us any Mark Grace stories. Rex is a big Cubs fan. Tell us some Mark Grace stories, Rex. We got a long break. We got a long break to go. Slump Buster Mark Grace was oh, was that was there a a Mark Grace Slump Buster story out there? I think I remember something like that. Uh, no, Vet Commons do not ship. Stuff. Maybe some finest after this, maybe some Bowman Chrome after this. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. Maybe it will. I don't know. I, I, I doubt it, though. Just like how, I mean, this mini will ship. Um, we'll put that in with our other non baseball stuff. Uh, like the UK cards, like the commons there aren't going to ship. I don't know what's in here. Like, do we have hits in here? Maybe all these do ship. Here's this kid that just does Shirley Temple stuff. Video reviews of... of Non-alcoholic drinks. Aha, that's something right there. That's a uh, 16 out of 30, and there's a mini stuck behind there. 16 out of 30, Brady Singer. Silver ink autograph for the Royals. Barry David with Kansas City. Philip says, I need something good. We haven't even got to the good stuff yet. So you, we still have a ways to go. So fingers crossed, everybody. Thank you. 
By the way, here's what we're gonna do. There, there'll be a, uh, there'll be one list that'll just be for the wax party, and then there'll be another list where the name on top. So where the next list will be the Brady Ball name on top. Second name will get non-baseball stuff. That'll be, and I don't think we're going to run into, we might run into points in select. So those non-baseball cards will be the stuff in that Ginter and, the, um, and those, uh, those UK inserts. All right, let's, let's get this going. All right, Rex has a trivia question for us. What, col what college did Mark Grace play for, and what team did he make his MLB debut against? I have no clue on either. I say he went to Arizona State University and made his debut against the Cardinals. That's my guess. We prefer not Googling it. That, that's, what, what, what fun would that be? Logan says Stanford and then Yankees. The Brian Hayes rookie card. There's Alexander Mojica to 150. Blue Chrome also for Pittsburgh. Steve M. Bowman first. Gabriel Rodriguez for Cleveland. There's a Wilman Diaz. Black and white speckle for, uh, for the Dodgers. That's going to go to Carl. And then Andrew Vaughn. Magenta to 299 for the White Sox. That'll be for Justin. Oh, TJ got the college, San Diego State. I was only a state away. I was close. Yeah, I knew it was somewhere on the West Coast. Or West-ish. So anyone know where who uh, Mark Grace made his debut with? I think they are. I don't think we're going to have teams on here. There's Jackson Job. Let's get this out of the way for a 7 out of 30. Um, is there a checklist for this? I think you're right. Jackson Job does sound familiar for Detroit. Well, there's no checklist on groupbreakchecklist.com, so we're gonna go with um, we're gonna go with the team that they are currently on. I think these are all current players. So Jackson Job is indeed a Tiger. We got Samuel Munoz 
Uh, the Tigers, Jeremy R. with that one. I don't know where Samuel Munoz goes. That's 10 out of 20. And I think he's a Dodger. He signed in January of this year. I think this guy's also a Dodger. Maddox Bruns? Yeah, he's he's a Dodger. Almost a top 12 prospect. Top 10 prospect. He's, he's 12, according to MLB.com. Six out of 30. What about Aaron Zavila? Zavala. Aaron Zavala is a third baseman in the Rangers organization. So that'll be for Barry Roberts, who's drawing first blood in that Rangers Cleveland trade. 20 out of 20. What about Robert Gasser? Throwing gas. Robert Gasser is currently with San Diego. And that is not numbered, not numbered, but a red parallel right there. And last but not least, Reginald Preciado. I don't know if we have to do one or two, but if, if it says last filler, then that'll be the last one. But if it doesn't say anything like the last filler or this fills the break or something like that, then you can assume that there are multiple. Three out of ten on that one. Cubs. All right, let's get this leaf going. Yeah, TJ was just nailing him. He was just like, oh, I sorted some 2020 draft paper today. All right, this is 2021 Flash Baseball. I think there is a checklist for this. No, I don't have that. So we're gonna go by the team they're currently on. There's no checklist. Christian Hernandez, I think you're right. This is a Cub. Jaden Hill up next, if someone wants to look that up while I top load this. Christian Hernandez, Patrick Katzik, Last Spot Mojo, Cubbies. And that's 37 out of 75. No, no one looked up Jaden Hill. Jaden Hill is is a pitcher in the Rockies organization. He's out of LSU. 98 out of 99. Colorado, that's going to be for Josh. We got Ian Lewis Jr. Maybe a Tampa Bay Ray.
No, Marlins. Uh, that'll be for Richard with the Marlins. Jose Ramos looks like a Dodger, right? With that with that jersey. Yes, Dodgers. And that'll be for Carl and my Dodgers. Wilman Diaz, I definitely know he's a Dodger. You can tell by the uniform right here. Oh, look at this. And a Bobby Witt Jr. Nice. That's actually a pretty nice box. Wilman Diaz is a, is a coveted prospect. Another one for Carl and the Dodgers. And Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. Nice. And that's for Kansas City. That's going to go to Barry David and the Royals. Nice. 70 out of Also, that Mystery Redemption will go in the fourth spot right there. That's expired, so we may as well put it on the bottom. We're close to the bottom. All right, let's keep working. We're almost, like, we are getting towards the good stuff here. Here's Select and less base-heavy stuff as well. So each box should be a little bit more quick than the last as we keep pushing here. And then I think from here, we'll do some 2020 Bowman Chrome, then some Finest. Good luck, everybody. There's Mike Yastrzemski, lime green, 47 out of 99 for the Giants. That'll be for Cody in San Francisco. We got Trevor Rogers, 240 out of 199. Rookie jersey and autograph. Uh, I think over the weekend, I learned that Trevor Rogers has a twin brother, Taylor Rogers, right? Maybe not. No, his cousin's Cody Ross. Wait, who's that? Who's that uh, submarine pitcher on the Giants? He has a twin brother. And his brother, this one goes to Richard in Miami. Not Trevor Rogers, and I'm thinking of some, someone else. There's a relief pitcher, submarine style relief pitcher on the Giants, whose brother, twin brother, is on the Padres now after a recent trade. There's Tyler Stevenson. Big piece of his jersey for the red. That's going to go to Dusty. Someone will tell me in the chat, I hope. But I think they squared off against each other. Or at least play in the same game together. Nice Hebert Ruiz. Jersey and autograph. Still Dodgers edition here. But making some regular starts in Washington. This will go to Carl and the Dodgers. And the big Dodgers pitching prospects. 221 out of 299. We got Joey Bart. 
Giants. Cody has my rivals. Rafael Marchand to 199 for the Phillies. Jared Oliva, blue to 149 for the Pirates. That'll be for Steve M. All right, 2020 Bowman Chrome. Two Chrome autographs per master box. Each mini box has an auto. Pelicans, 75. Suns, 85. Oh, that pack kind of bit me. Another trivia question. What athlete was drafted by four different teams in three different sports? Uh, Dave Winfield. Dave Winfield. It's Corey Kluber to 499 refractor. And Luis Matos, 180, uh, 138 out of 499 is your autograph. That's for the Giants. That's going to be for Cody Russell. Too, uh, for me, maybe not too easy for others. We've got another giant here, Sean Jelly, 21 out of 99. Another one for the Giants, my rivals. For you. I don't know, it reminds me of uh, Too Easy. You know, it's like uh, in, uh, in in the Batman movie with Bane. You know, the guy, the CIA agent in the beginning of the movie. You're a big fella, aren't you? For you. That's what Bane says. Alejandro Kirk to 99. And we've got a Marcano. A Tucupita Marcano. Bowman first autograph for the Padres. Philip on the board with the Friars. Steven Strasburg to 99. For you. 2021 Topps Finest Baseball. Two autographs in each mini box. And then I think we're going to work our way down that stack right there. We're going to do that gold label box, tier one, some uh, archives, some clearlies, well, then some sapphires, and then we'll work our way down this column right here, which will be the choice box, a couple inceptions, chrome black, and uh, hit parade.
onwards. Good luck. And we got a Bo Bichette to one nine. I thought that was going to be autographed for a second. That's going to go to Carl and the Blue Jays. 45 out of 199, Bo Bichette. And Chris Bubich is your rookie autograph for the Royals, Barry David. Kenta Maeda. That might be a variation. I'll set that in the other pile. Rookie bets to 250. That is for Carl and the Dodgers. We got a Kent Herbeck. Remember him? Kent Herbeck autograph. That's for Scott and the Twins. Luis Patino to 300, Yu Darvish, and Yuan Mukata. That black gold card is a case hit? This? This Legacies card right here? Chad is saying is a case hit. So that'll go to the White Sox. That'll be for Justin. All right. What about some gold label? 2021 gold label. Nice framed autograph inside. And that's the frame right there. Yeah, Top's Finest is a classic. I do enjoy it. All right, some gold label. There's a Boba Shet to 99. frame. This is Xander Bogart and a Randy Arazarena up front. And the gold frame auto is Yerman Mercedes. Rookie auto for the White Sox. That's going to be for Justin.
All right, tier one, which was that 27th box. It was not on the list, but it was in the picture. The picture for the mixer had 27 boxes. The list, the description only had 26 boxes. This was the one that was missing. All right, what do we have here? So we'll use this blank card right here. Do the relic first, and that's Xander Bogarts. Nice three-color dual relic for Boston. That'll be for Anthony. We got CC Sabathia, 63 out of 125. That's Cleveland edition, and that is for TJ and the Guardians. Indians back when CC played. Updated now. And back here is John Kruk, 17 out of 25 for the Fightin' Phils. That's going to be for Jimmy and the Phillies. Nice. All right, what about some 2017 Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition? Joe Panic, 36 out of 99 for the Giants. Cody Russell with the Giants. Let's go to 2021 Archive Signature Series, Active Player Edition. And it's Kenta Maeda, 74 out of 99. Nice autograph for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Carl and the Dodgers. Now, similar sort of thing. Clearly authentic. One encased auto a box. Got a rookie, and it's uh, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Got that cool acetate look right there for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Bennett. We got a Trent Grisham. Rookie autograph, 7 out of 25. Brewers. That'll be for Dusty and the Brew Crew. All right, now let's maybe some Sapphire. 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Sapphire Update Series Sapphire. Sapphire Update Series. It's Topps Chrome Baseball Update Series Sapphire Edition. Or Sapphire Edition updates. Got Trevor Rogers, another one for Richard and the Marlins. And got some orange. It's Casey Mize. Nice little color match there with the Detroit logo. 
That's going to be for Jeremy. Hopefully he gets off the IL soon. Hopefully 7 out of 25 and has a great season. I've been counting on him. Me and my fantasy team has been counting on him for a breakout year. Let's keep the Sapphire theme, 2021 Bowman Draft. Baseball, Sapphire Edition. A Topps.com exclusive. Hour 30 mark. Maybe my two hour prediction was correct. Initially, at the beginning of the break, I was like, this is going to be a three hour break. I think I got it at two hours. Probably another, probably less than 30 minutes left. Maybe I was a little ahead of schedule. Even better. All right, good luck, everybody. Final handful of boxes coming up. And we got Matt Mikulski, 23 out of 25. Cody and my rivals, the Giants. We got an Andrew Abbott, five out of ninety-nine for the Reds. That's going to go to Dusty. All right. We've got some optic choice. Three autographs in here. You know what? No, I think we looked this up. I don't think Casey Mize is related to Johnny Mize. There's the different snake skins. There's Ryan Jeffers to 110. Nice show, Otani for the Angels. That's for Kenneth. That's to 88. Bryce Harper to 110. Glaber Day and Alec Manoa, both out of 45. There's a Sixto Sanchez rated rookie hollow. We'll do a we'll do a recap at the end here too. And the three autos behind Kirsch. First one is Tanner Hawk, rated rookie autograph for the Red Sox, Anthony. 63 out of 99. Second auto is Tucker Davidson. Tanner and Tucker. Blue Mojo for Tucker Davidson, ATL Tim. With the Braves, that's 89 out of 99. And then we've got a Barry Larkin. Nice. Retro rated rookie autograph for the Reds. Dusty and the Red Legs. I like that vibe there. Two out of five. Train whistle. Dusty. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop whoop. Nice. All right, we've got 2021 Bowman Inception. Oh, we got two autographs. Are there two autographs in here? There are two autos. Popped one early here. Pop both of them early. There's a third auto here, though. Bonus auto, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm kind of all over the place here. There's Maximo Acosta to 99. So your first autograph is Deshaun Knowles, th uh, 14 out of 99. That's a primordial prospect for the Angels. There's Kenneth. He's in the primordial suit. Hopefully he evolves into a major leaguer. If you believe in that sort of thing, evolution. There's for the Indians, Angel Martinez, 
457 out of 600. That's for TJ and the Cleveland Guardians. And here's uh, Rykelvin DeCastro, 12 out of 50, also knee-deep in the primordial suit, waist-deep in the primordial suit. And that is for Toronto. That's going to go to Carl, primordial prospect. All right, 2021 Tops Inception Baseball. Behind Jordan is Dylan Cease, Chicago White Sox autograph. He's having a nice season, I think. I thought we looked up those stats. Uh, that's Justin and the White Sox. All right, let's do the chrome black first. Garrett Cole, 54 out of 99. And the encased card is going to be it's a Yankee and it's Davey Garcia, rookie autograph for the Yankees. Dusty with the Bronx Bombers. All right, 2022 Hit Parade Baseball Limited Edition Series 8. One really nice hit in here. Let's see who it's going to be. All right, it's a thicker card. Ooh, this is a, I think this is a nice one. If this is who I think it is, it is. Five-star baseball, Cobrian Hayes, rookie auto. Steve M. with the Pirates. Nice, there you go. And there you go, gang. All right, we got a number of randomizers to do here before I... Uh, do a recap. So we're gonna have two different lists. The first list will be the Wax Party randomizer. Name on top gets Wax Party spot. Completely separate list will be the Brady Ball. The next name down will get the non-baseball card. There were no points. So the third name gets the uh, that mystery redemption. I know it's expired, but we'll still send it off to you anyway. Maybe you can twist up Panini's arm to get you to do get them to do something. There are also these three cards right here. Actually, just a triple, right? This will be one, two, three, just like one, two, three. Some windows here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So we'll use one dice roll for uh, all four lists. So let's flip back to random.org. First list will be that left right. That'll apply to any other left right cards that there may be. 
The next card with the three players will just go position one, position two, and position three. Um, everyone's got a shot at the wax party spot. So that'll be one list right there. That's the first list. First full list, wax party. And second full list will be for the, uh, the Brady Ball. So we're pretty much going... I'm going to flip back again. We're pretty much going in this order right here. The left-right randomizer, the one, two, three randomizer, wax party randomizer, and then the fourth and final list will be for the Brady Ball. Right there, which I will reveal. I know you saw the picture, but I'll reveal it live. One dice roll for all four lists, and that's going to be... Five and a one, six times. Good luck, everybody. Left, right first. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. We'll, those two-player cards will go to the right side. Five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, sixth and final time. That'll go to position one, spot one. So that spot right there. All right, wax party spot. After six, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and fingers crossed, a one, sixth and final time. Name on top is going to be, first off, Anthony, sorry. Very close, no cigar. We'll get him next time. But happy times for Carl. There you go, with the spot that you won in the filler. After six times, you are in the wax party. So we keep track of it on the break schedule. We already did one f earlier today. There's your name in there. For the 27 box baseball mixer today on a Sunday, the 14th. Five and one, six times. Uh, once again, name on top gets the autograph, the Tom Brady autograph baseball. The non baseball cards that popped out of uh, Topps Chrome UK um, and uh, Ginter, I think. And then that weird mystery redemption from 2011. Bowman Platinum baseball. But name on top basically is what you want to where you want to be. After six, the Brady Ball. Five and a one. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Good luck, everybody. Sixth and final time. So from spot four on down, nothing. Not this time, Carl, sorry. But thanks to you and everybody for uh, giving this a go. Top three, well, top, third position gets, I mean, maybe it's not that great as well, Carl. <laughs> the, that weird mystery redemption. Second spot, non-baseball cards, that's all right. Let's get something, Bennett Page, we'll send some stuff to you. But name on top's really happy because that's going to be a Brady ball. And that's Dusty. I don't think I call Dusty's name very often in the break. But the Tom Brady ball going your way. Congrats. Tom Brady autograph baseball. There it is. Nice. No inscription, but a nice autograph there. Should we take it out? Throw a sl little slider with this, right? There's the Fanatic sticker right there. Do we have an MLB hologram logo? No, we don't. But the Fanatic sticker. And there you have it. it also has. A little uh, hologram verification card in there as well. There you go, Carl. Congrats to or Dusty. That is congrats to you, Carl. Got the wax party. Congrats to him on that. So that's from the mixer from the seventeenth. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I appreciate everybody getting into this mixer. It was a lot of fun, gave away a lot of stuff.
Here's a quick recap. Some pretty nice stuff pulled out of here as well. The Kiebert Ruiz jersey and auto. Trevor Rogers. Bobby Wood Jr., that was nice. So is that Wilman Diaz. That Lee Flashbox turned out to be pretty nice. And then here's the pro set. And we tagged all of those and their cities back there. There's the uh, Singer mini autograph out of Ginter X. Mark Grace, Severino from 2016. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a nice break. Thanks very much for getting into that 27-box Grand Slam baseball mixer. The Brady ball was awesome. Pulled some real solid stuff out of the break itself. Wolfpack, yeah, not your best break, Wolfpack saying, but it was still fun. I'm glad you had fun. Um, join in next time. We'll, we'll try to make it up to you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.